Tonight, Sleepyhead rejoins the hunt. Hello guys, and welcome back to Bloodborne with me, Sleepyhead. In case you missed that part. Uh, I have been away for a very long time. A few months, not very long, but it's been a very long time since I actually recorded a video. And uh, it's, it's all due to work, and my mental state when I get home, I just don't feel like talking to uh, a microphone but uh, I had these videos uh, that I'm going to put out in the, over the next few days these were recorded uh, well this one would have been November 24th the day the DLC came out um, it isn't base level sadly because when I did the DLC I did it with my friend and we used our <coughs> excuse me we used our original characters and although we're not on base level, it's still really difficult because we're, we were on plus five, I believe. And, oh man, difficult. Very difficult. But very fun. Uh, I won't be doing a whole, a whole playthrough of the DLC unless, of course, you guys want to see that. Uh, as I was playing, I simply recorded my victories because... I, it was my first victory against each boss, so I wanted to have it. Uh, I don't have any failures, sadly, because I just don't have the hard drives to space to record that on my PlayStation, and I don't have the ability to just straight up record that on my PlayStation. Um, each of my fights are actually with fight my friend, because I spent a lot more time playing it than he did. Just because I can play Bloodborne, I can play from soft games non-stop for hours and still enjoy them as if I've only playing for a few moments. Him, not so much. But the point being, I wanted to put out my boss fights for the DLC because they're very good fights. Maybe not to watch, but I don't know, I had fun. This fight took me over an hour. Ludwig is very tough on plus five. Not so much on regular new game, but I had already beaten him before I fought him on regular new game, so perhaps that had a thing to do with it. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say, really. I don't have any exciting commentary for the fight. But, uh, hey, if you guys enjoy this, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you enjoy this, and I can see that people enjoy this, I will get back to uploading videos. I just need to actually focus on it. Another thing is I actually lost this microphone for a few weeks. Um, the one I use regularly for playing games without actually talking to your recording is awful truly awful but I have this microphone back so I can do this again uh, if you guys want to see a full playthrough of the DLC start to finish please let me know and I will get straight on that because I'm always playing from soft games I'm actually going free scholar of the first sin again right now I'm doing fist only on the Covenant of Champions and it is so difficult <laughs> oh cutscene <laughs> oh yeah, I because I wasn't intending on recording this, because I wasn't sure if I would win, I skipped the cutscene, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> sorry for the, <laughs> sorry for the coughing, but I'm not, <clears throat> I'm doing very well recently with my chest, partially because I work in a fridge, but you know, that's another story. Um, the first time I saw that little cutscene against Ludwig and I saw the sword, it, I mean, any Dark Souls fan would have been like, oh my god, it's the Moonlight Red Sword. So I had a complete fanboy moment there. It's a shame you guys couldn't see that, but yeah. And I forget what I was talking about, to be honest. Think I was talking about doing videos again? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, I was talking about doing Dark Souls. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm playing from South Games back to front, or back to front, back to back right now because I'm just so excited for Dark Souls 3. It's quite a, quite a long way away, but, uh, already saving up for the Prestige Edition, I think it's called, where you get everything, so I look forward to getting that. And nothing like ending a fight with, uh, Needless, uh, Visitor Attack. Yeah. 
So I figured as well, I might as well just involve this little fight in with the uh, the Ludwig clip. Everybody wave hello to my friend Draco. Obviously not his real name, but oh well. <laughs> my characters are not called after my real name, trust me. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I would include this one in this video because I wasn't finished talking. And because this just isn't a boss fight to me. This is ridiculous. Yes, I did it with two people, but I've done it by myself and it is... It, it's pointless. Like, it really shouldn't be here. I get the flowers have significance, and that noise! I hate that noise so much. I get the flowers have significance to the story with uh, Maria, but I don't know. They're, I mean, yeah, the whole thing, there's a hit, there's a point to the living failures, but personally, I just think they shouldn't have been it. It's a waste of time. It should have just went straight to Maria because she is actually my favorite fight through the whole uh, Bloodborne main story DLC fight. I'm probably gonna have to do something about that noise. I don't know how much I can actually do about about it because my program on PS4 isn't the best. This, I can't even hear myself talking over that noise. Anyway, Maria, my favorite fight in Bloodborne. Uh, partially because I've fought her five times and she's never beat me. So I oh, know she beat me once. Apologies, she, she she did beat me once, but I beat her. The first time in one go, which gave me such a thrill, such a good fight. You guys will see it in the next video. But, uh, yeah, this fight is just ridiculous. I, ugh. And, um, I'll go back to what I was talking about before about, uh, yeah, the Dark Souls Prestige Edition. I can't wait for that to arrive. And if I spontaneously in people who actually want to watch my videos, I'll do an unboxing because I am getting the biggest edition that's available to the West. Um, with the, the game, the metal case, with the bonfire on it, which is really cool. The uh, iron-on patches, which are just ridiculous, but you know, I'll keep them as little collectible things. The uh, Lord of Cinder giant figurine. The Ashen Knight, I think he's called. I think that's it, I'm not sure. The, uh, the Knight figurine, the soundtrack, the art and design for, if I'm correct, it's for all three Dark Souls games. Uh, what else do you get? I might even remember. The map? Did I mention the map? You get a map. Don't know if I mentioned that. You get a map. But this video is going to come to an end very shortly because this fight's a joke. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys at least find Ludwig entertaining because I don't think this fight's entertaining. It, it doesn't help that I come to this guy and just beat him to death when he was spawning, but oh well. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. <laughs> it was the best method. <laughs> and it's just a bully moment. Oh well. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, which is ridiculous. But uh, leave, a, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, yeah. Bye. You guys know me. I wasn't gonna leave you so if I was saying it, gotta do the thing. Shout out to uh, Epic Name Bro, got that from him, gotta do the thing. <laughs> See you next one guys.